Hi everybody, thank you so very much for joining me today. My name is Sharon and I am here with Fernando the Clown. And maybe you're wondering why Fernando is dressed up as a clown today. Well that's because our very last theme topic this week for our Frog Street 3's, our Frog Street Preschool Curriculum, is the circus. So I actually had an old clown costume that my son once wore when he was two that I dug out and it actually fits Fernando quite nicely. So why not? We wanted to showcase the circus. Have you ever been to the circus before? It's a pretty exciting place to be. It's got a great big tent, a series of tents actually. And underneath those tents are all kinds of performers. Things like acrobats, trapeze artists, clowns, a lot of carnival games. In fact, the circus is very similar to a carnival or a fair that maybe you've been to in your communities. So think about it like that, just a, a bigger version of a carnival or a fair. And that's the circus. And today, actually, our wonderful word of the week is called big top. Big top. So that's two words. But you can see big top is the name given to a great big circus tent. And again, under which all sorts of performances happen. And we'll talk more about some of those performances in our next circle. But I just wanted to get you guys excited about the idea of the circus. Carnival games and magic acts and all of those kinds of things that happen at the circus. So what do you think, Fernando? Should we do a little bit of a song? Do you remember the one that we talked about? Yeah, it's like that one. Should we do that one? Okay. So Fernando's going to help me. Um, and maybe you guys could learn it and teach your moms or dads or family members at home. So, like I said, Fernando's going to act out some of the lines in this. And it goes something like this for our uniting song for a greeting circle. Oh, the circus tent is great. Oh, the circus tent is grand. There are balance beams and swings, bags of popcorn in your hand. Better get your ticket fast because you don't want to be late. This is what we do when we go through the gate. We watch the trapeze artist swing up and down. That she goes. Watch the acrobat swing up. Watch the acrobat swing down. Watch the acrobat swing up. Watch the acrobat swing down. And we all turn around. Can you guys do that for the next verse? Can you mimic the actions that Fernando's doing? Oh, the circus tent is great. Oh, the circus tent is grand. There are balance beams and swings, bags of popcorn in your hand. Better get your ticket fast, cause you don't want to be late. This is what we do when we go through the gate. We watch the acrobat swing up. Watch the acrobat swing down. Watch the acrobat swing up. Watch the acrobat swing down. Watch the acrobat swing up. Watch the acrobat swing down. And we all turn around. And of course, there are other names to those circus performers other than acrobat. Like we said, trapeze artist, acrobat, aerialist. That's a tricky one. Aerialist, that's someone who, who makes um, very special movements in the air. So it, maybe it's on a trapeze, but it also could just be very special performances. Gymnasts climb on top of each other and then do things like somersaults or balance on each other, jump off of someone's shoulders, kind of like big cheerleading squads. Those would be aerialists. That's a tricky name. Watch the aerialist sleep up. Watch the aerialist sleep down. Watch the aerialist sleep up. Watch the aerialist sleep, leap down. 
Watch the aerialist sleep up. Watch the aerialist sleep down. And we all turn around. That was kind of a fun one. It's, that song is based on the carnival song, in case you know it. We just changed carnival to circus tent. But carnivals and circuses are very, very similar, so I thought we should try it out. Right, Fernando? And it kind of works. Okay, should we talk about the calming strategy for this week? Do you remember what it is? Looks a little bit different than last week. That's right. So Fernando's going to be pretend that he is on a trapeze swing. And I'll use my arm as a trapeze swing. And a swing is like a regular, a trapeze swing is like a regular swing. But instead of a board or a very wide area for you to sit on, it's just a little bar. And lots of trapeze artists will hang from the bar and do all sorts of tricks while they're, they're swinging on it. So let's try it. We're going to pretend that we are swinging on a trapeze, okay? And we're going to take a deep breath in as we gain momentum and get ourselves ready to push up. And then a deep belly breath out as we swing down. So you guys pretend at home. Pretend you're on a swing and you're working to gain some momentum on your swing and you're going to raise your arms up with a deep belly breath. Give yourself some momentum and... So that's trapeze swing breathing for our calming strategy. Maybe you can teach some of your family members at home. And remember we've got all of these other ones here too. Our breathing arms, our eye rest, our bunny breathing, our drain, our ear rub, and our star. Which one is your favorite one this week, Fernando, other than the trapeze swing breathing? I know that one is a good one. Maybe bunny breathing. What does that look like? You could pretend that you're a bunny and get your bunny ears. And as you crouch down to hop, you take a deep breath in, a deep belly breath. And as you hop, you blow out a belly breath. So here we go. So crouch down. But you could also go like this, right? Pretend you're a bunny hopping across. That would work too. That was a good one, Fernando. Thank you. So, what do you think? Should we talk about the connecting activity? Yeah? Okay. So, Fernando and I just wanted to take a moment to wish all of our friends out there that we haven't seen for so long a song called We Wish You Well. Are you ready to sing it, Fernando? Let's sing it. We wish you well, we wish you well, all through the day today, we wish you well. But another connecting strategy that we thought of was Fernando thought it would be fun if he pretended to be a silly clown. And this is something that you could pretend to do with your family members at home, just to have a moment with them where you share a little bit of a laugh and have a little bit of fun together, just for a short time. So one connecting act activity that we talked about was we could tap someone on the shoulder on this side, have that person turn, and then we move really quickly and then tap someone on that shoulder, have them turn to see who's tapping them, and turn really quickly. Just as a little bit of a fun game, and when you're finally caught after tapping your family member, it usually causes a little bit of laughter because you kind of fooled them, but you're having a little moment, a little, a little connecting moment with, with each other. And one thing that we should talk about too is that when we do go back to our, our child care centers or our schools, one thing that we have to remember is that we are just giving air hugs, giving our friends air hugs. That means we're just hugging the air until we can give bear hugs. 
So right now we're going to keep a little bit distant from each other, give air hugs, give air fives, do our part and stay a little bit separate. And then one day when things are a little bit better, we can go back to giving each other bear hugs or, or closer connections. You could also do things like this. And that just means to the friends around you, hey, I'm glad you're my friend. I like you, I like spending time with you. And you can still show those, those signs of affection without actually um, hugging or touching each other. Okay? Okay, thank you, Fernando. Should I get out the whiteboard to do our morning message? It's a tricky one this week. I'll just pull it closer to me and we'll say it and we'll think about the syllables and the words and then I'll write it down, okay? Okay, now it is trapeze artists are expert acrobats. That's a lot of words in there. Trapeze artists are expert acrobats. Hmm. Remember, acrobats are like aerialists. They do special body moves in the air, basically off of trapeze swings, when they're with a group of other people doing a very special performance where maybe they're climbing on top of each other, doing gymnast type activities, somersaults or cartwheels or, or special formations with everybody's um, body towered together. Those are acrobats. You can move your bodies in very special ways. So trapeze artists are expert acrobats. Are you ready, Fernando? Let's try to tap, or pardon me, clap out the syllables, which are those pops of sounds in, in each of the words. Trapeze artists are expert acrobats. Good job. Okay, let's tap out the words now. Trapeze artists are expert acrobats. Good job, Fernando. Good job, guys. Should we print out our morning message now? Brand new words. Okay. Trapeze Trapeze artists are expert acrobats. There we go. And I've got a capital T at the beginning of my sentence and a period at the end of my sentence. And I read this way from left to right. Okay. There's a lot of letters in there that are the same. Do you see which ones they are? Can you see, Fernando? Let me underline them all. There's one. And wait, there's another one. There's another one. Wow. There's another one. And there's another one. Look at all of those similar letters. There's one, two, three, four, five. Did I miss any of them? Those letters. That's the lowercase letter. Here's the uppercase letter. Those letters are the letter A. Trapeze artists are expert acrobats. Good job. Good job. Okay. Let me put that right over here. We're learning a lot about syllables and words and specific letters and even how to read from left to right. Good job. Okay, everybody. Now I'm going to pull out our commitment board just for you to have a look at. Maybe some of you are starting to think about 
going back to your school or your child care center and some of the commitments you've been making at home will look a little bit different once you go back to school, but you're very, very clever and you're very thoughtful, so I'm sure you'll be able to apply the commitments you make in the, into the different settings. So remember this one, thoughtful choices, helping hands, listening ears, sharing, walking feet, big voice, gentle hands. So I think what, what Fernando and I were talking about is that thoughtful choices would be really important, especially if you're starting to go back to your child care centers or your schools. So one thoughtful choice would be to think about, hmm, how close can I get to my friends? I need to be thoughtful and I need to think about staying a little bit apart from my friends. That would be a very thoughtful choice. Still talking to them, still laughing with them, still using the, the toys with them or the materials, but keeping a little bit of distance from them. That would be a very thoughtful choice. So you think about it at home. Maybe some of you at home are still there for a while. Things you could do would be helping hands, making sure you're, you're picking up your toys and materials from your bedroom floor or your living room floor when you're done with them, helping clean up lunch dishes or dinner dishes. All of those types of things would be helpful hands. So you think about it. And I'm going to pull out our safekeeper box. And Fernando is going to think about what he's going to do while I show you the photos of who is inside. There's Lily. And Lily's still learning. I bet you by this time next year, she's going to be able to make some commitments. I'm going to put her safe inside. Here's Max. Max's commitment has been to help keep people smiling and help make people laugh. And that was a really fun commitment for Max because he's surely been doing that over the last several weeks. And here's Fanny. Fanny's commitment has been to use her helping hands. So she's been helping a lot around the house, taking care of cleaning up her messes and helping her mom and dad whenever she can. And here's Fernando. Fernando, do you remember what, what commitment you wanted to make? Yeah, you wanted to keep making some thoughtful choices, right, Fernando? Yeah. You wanted to see those moments that you need to think about. Hmm, what is the best choice here? What can I do? Can I choose to be kind? Can I choose to be helpful? Those are thoughtful choices. So Fernando is going to put that in there. And I am going to close the box to show everybody that they are safe. And my commitment for this week is to keep all of my family members safe and happy and show them that I love them. And that is my commitment. Okay. So we are going to sing a goodbye song. And it is, it is related to our theme. Are you ready? Oh, the circus tent is closing. See you soon. Bye, bye. Oh, the circus tent is closing. See you soon. Bye, bye. Oh, the circus tent is closing. The circus tent is closing. Oh, the circus tent is closing. See you soon. Bye, bye. And we'll say goodbye to for Fanny. See you soon. Bye, bye. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Lily. See you soon. Bye bye. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Max. We'll say goodbye to Fernando. We'll say goodbye to you. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye for now, everybody.